Okay, I'd just like to talk to you today about the first in a series of presentations on power in surfing and how you create power in performances. And there's a number of topics in this series, but the first one I want to talk to you about is, is a, a principle called summation of forces. And it's all about moving your body and adding different body parts to the creation of power. So when we have a look at the the first concept, there's different power sources in surfing. You know, the first one is gravity. Gravity when you when you paddle into a wave and you take the drop, gravity is helping you get to the bottom. As you drop down the face, it's gravity is doing the work. There's also wave power, you know, and that depends on on the different swells that you ride every day. Depends on the beach that you ride, that you you surf at. You know, it can be a, a really powerful beach break or a soft uh, point break, for instance. Or and also it could be you could be surfing the same beach, but on a different day it's a different intensity because of the the generating storms that create the waves on that day. So in summer you're likely to get weaker weaker waves less power and in winter time you're likely to get stronger more powerful surf because there's stronger and more powerful storms uh, in your part of the ocean. The third part and, and, and what summation of forces is all about is is the power that a person can generate from a surface body and they do that in, in a number of ways and it's really the body movements that, that a surfer utilizes in their surfing. So when a surfer performs their maneuvers, they move their bodies in a number of different ways. These movements combine to create the technique of each maneuver. And some of these movements are, are bending the body, straightening the body, twisting the body, and sometimes using your arms to add extra lift or power to your turns in some situations. To create power, these basic maneuvers are coupled together into various sequences to form the maneuvers we perform while surfing. For example, bottom turns, cutbacks, even the advanced maneuvers surfing the, the aerials and, and uh, layback snaps and air reverses. They all have a, a technique and that technique is the way that the surfer uses their body and a big part of that is the power that the surfer creates and that gives them good technique, good, good surfing maneuvers. The thing is that to have good maneuvers, in all the maneuvers performed, there must be a sequential flow of movements in their correct order to create maximum power from a surface body. And this is called the summation of forces. So when performing, performing maneuvers, each contributing body segment can be summed or added together to create maximum power during a maneuver. Once the maneuver has begun, each segment picks up the flow of motion in sequence as the preceding body part has reached its peak contribution. This produces a continual increase in force production. So fundamentally, as a, as a surfer straightens out of a bottom turn, they straighten at the ankles, knees, waist, and there's a bit of rotation as well. And as, as a part of the body gets to its full contribution, say the straightening of the ankles, is it, as it gets to the full contribution of its power production for that turn, then the part above the ankle, so the, the, four, the, the lower leg and the knee, they straighten forcefully as well and that gets added to the ankle straightening and that knee straightening gets added at the precise time to the waist straightening. And that all, all combines and adds, plus the rotation of the upper body as you come out of the turn, to the maximum force created. So what's it look like? What are we talking about here? So for example, here we're talking, we can have a look at four, four diagrams, four pictures. And this is what a surfer does when they create horizontal speed. So the technique here is that you start from a a bent body position that might be the, the body position at takeoff and and you turn and go across the wave well to, to create horizontal speed so to, you need to create the power to accelerate 
into the first maneuver of the ride or to make a long section. So you start from a bent body position. Then in number two, as the surface straightens, power starts to be created by straightening at the ankles, knees and waist. Number three, as the, as the surface straightens further, the arms start to lift and this, this is added to their contribution to the power production. And number four shows the body with total power created is when the surface is fully erect with their arms lifted to shoulder level. At this point, all body parts have straightened and contributed sequ sequentially and maximally to create the most force available to the surface so they can accelerate as quickly as possible. Okay, just to show you some visual examples of this summation of forces, here's three maneuvers, the forehand bottom turn, cutback and snap maneuver. So when we look at the, the forehand bottom turn, we can see there's a nice smooth turn, comes up to do the turn, come back to here, see server drops down to the wave, then bends their body, bends their body into a compressed body, and the thing, and the reason they do that is to put the muscles that they're going to use for power production on stretch. You can think of this as, as, as stretching a rubber band, and the more that you stretch, the more that you have stinging power you have, and in this case, the more that you bend, the more straightening you can have. Therefore, the more force production you can create. There is a point where you can you can have too much bend, but if you think about it at right angles in the knees and bend at the waist so your chest is close to your knees, well that's getting pretty close to a good body position. From there the server then leans into their body position and there's a reason for that which we'll talk about another power, power of surfing production. But then you can see here what happens now is the surfer, they start to sum their force, they start to straighten out of the turn straighten the ankles, straighten the knees, straighten the waist and you can also see the the hand coming from the wave surface up behind the back which is a little bit of rotation that gets put onto the board and that gets added to the to the straightening of the body which is the power production that comes out of the surfer. When we have a look at the next maneuver which is the forehand cutback you can see this is a nice smooth controlled cutback with a high foam rebound. And what we're talking about here is again, just like the forehand bottom turn, you can see the server comes out and bends their body. Again, they're bending their body for a particular reason. That's to, to put the, the power production muscles on stretch in preparation for straightening. In this case, there's a timing issue with how long they stay low for or bent with a bent body. And again, that's in another production. But you can see here, as the surfer comes out, they start to straighten their body. And there's a straightening, and there's a lifting of the arm above the surface head to help to climb or have a high rebound off the foam. And again, so what we're talking about here is we're getting a, a straightening of the ankles, knees, waist, and then at the end of it all, there's a lifting of the arm for full uh, straightening or full power production. And then that gives the, the surfer the ability to go nice and vertical, high rebound off the foam. And they sum their force as well to be successful in the hit. What happens a lot of time is people come out on the cutback and they'll only bend their body to about here or their legs will be straight or something and because of that that's a that's that takes away some of the straightening of the body or some of the summing therefore when they get around to the to the high rebound they run out of speed just before they hit the foam or they um, they can't get the height that they really want to achieve or it might be that they go really low but they don't have this lifting of the arm so there's missing pieces to the summing of the forces in the cutback. And this is why it's important to understand this principle so you can start to pinpoint where issues are in a surface performance. And the third example here is the forehand snap. And we can see with the forehand snap, 
the surfer comes out, they get to the top, and there's there's three things here. You lean, you turn your head and look, and you lift or throw your arms in that direction. And you can see here there's a nice smooth, at this point here, when they lean, you can see there's a straightening of the body and a lifting of the arms, and that's where the power production is in this maneuver. So what they do is they lean off the board, and that's again a, a big part of the power production because it reduces the 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 resistance on the surfboard, so it makes it easy to bring it around during the turn. Then what happens is that they they look they turn the head to look over their shoulder, which unlocks the rotational power of the body. And then you can see there's a straightening of the body and a twisting and lifting of the arms to to um, give you provide drive at the end of the maneuver and a big issue that a lot of servers have is that they don't turn their head enough or they they don't throw their arms at the end of the maneuver and if you look at what happens here is if you look at the arms are just about to be applied or the power is just about to be maximally applied to the board and you'll see that the board actually gets feel, starts to feel that drive. You can see the board really whips around, fins break free just for that fraction of a second. And that's the drive that maintains the speed at the end of the maneuver. If you don't throw your arms, you don't get the drive. So a lot of people, when they perform this maneuver, don't sum their force well because they have missing parts to their, to their technique which means they have missing parts to the amount of force that they can create. And therefore, they, they lack power during some turns. So it's really important, finally here, it's very important in this manoeuvre that you have that throw or throwing at the end because that's what gives you the drive at the end of the turn, which keeps the speed and momentum going as you come out of the turn. So summation of forces, the reason why we want to know about it is that if there's a if there's a flow, continual flow when you're applying, um, when you build up force through a manoeuvre, uh, there's no missing links, then you will achieve maximum power from your body. And that's what every surfer wants, and that's what every surfer wants in every manoeuvre they performed to be considered a good surfer.